Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be making a um, bonding scarf for guinea pigs, uh, chinchillas, and I guess sugar gliders as well. Um, I tried this with the ferrets for the video and they were like not having it at all. If you have a ferret who cuddles or lays still or is that type of ferret, this may work great for them. My ferrets wanted nothing to do with it. I actually didn't put them in this till they were asleep and they immediately got out. So yeah, but for um, a lot of people who have guinea pigs and sugar gliders and stuff like that, they really love this stuff. So this is a super easy, 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 easy DIY. If you don't have a sewing machine, you could sew this by hand. It may take you some time. Um, it's it, it may take you a little bit of time, but it can be done. It's not really that difficult. Uh, so let's just do it. So for this, you're going to need some pins and clips, some fleece, um, some scissors, and some kind of elastic. So I cut a 55 inch piece of fabric. So this is 50, about 55 inches long. It's approximately 12 inches wide. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to um, fold it so right sides are facing together. Just like this. And then I'm going to stitch this end shut. So you can pin it if you want to. You might not have to. Just We're just going to stitch this closed. Okay, so now that you've sewn that, you should have something that looks like this. You should basically have a circle. Okay, so lay that back down flat. Try to match up your edges as best that you can. This fabric is slippery. I'm not really sure why I chose to use this. Um, it is like my least favorite fabric, but I have a bunch of it left, so we're just gonna use it. Um, it's not, I don't really love it. I'm gonna cut off just the excess fabric. Don't cut it back open. Okay. All right. So, now you're going to roll this down You're basically creating um, a lip. So it's going to be like this. And you're going to want to pin. Essentially what you want is you want to create an edge that's thick enough for your elastic. But um, I'm going to make mine about an inch or just so that these match up like this. And then you're going to pin each of your, I'm just going to pin these in place, this in place because you're going to have to stitch this closed. Okay, there's that. Flip it over. You want to do it to the same thing to this side. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stitch around here, but you're going to want to make at least, um, stitch at least, I, I personally would do um, a half inch seam allowance just because I'm using quarter inch elastic. If you use half inch elastic, you need to make it bigger than a half inch. Um, but you don't, you want to leave an opening about this big um, anywhere on one side of this side and on one side of this side. So what I do normally so that I know where my, where to leave my opening is I will mark it. So I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to mark here and, um, and I'm going to mark, let's see, we'll mark here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side so that I know not to stitch this closed. Um, and the reason for that is because we are going to slide our elastic in those spots. So don't stitch wherever you marked. So you're going to want to remove your tray. Um, and for those of you who see me sew all the time, I did get a new machine. Um, my machine needed to go into the shop. The timing is off. So 
I have two other machines, but I didn't really, they weren't working really the way I wanted them to. So I went and got a fourth machine, which is just absurd. Um, the other two that I have as extras were given to me. And the one that you normally see is in the shop. That's my baby. Um, it should be fixed soon. But this is a great machine for sewing fleece. So this is the Singer Heavy Duty. I love it. Um, I'll do an unboxing video and show you guys. Everybody always asks what machine I use. So um, I'll show you guys how I do that. But you're going to want to remove your tray to do this, to sew this. So basically start where you marked. Um, and just go in on the first side of that pin. So when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. this. This will be the outside. This will be the inside. Your pet will be on the inside, so your pet's going to be facing the wrong side. But it's still super soft because it's anti-fill fleece. If you want, um, I, you could probably trim off your excess fabric, which I'm going to do at the end. I'm not going to do yet. If you want it both sides to be pretty like this, you would want to um, sew two pieces that are 55 inches together first. Um, flip it face like right sides together so the whole thing together first flip it inside out and then do this step um, I did not do that but it can be done and I will make a tutorial doing it that way so this is gonna be one where the seams will be on the inside but I don't think that your pet is really gonna care and no one's gonna see it so it's up to you if I sold these I would obviously make the inside look like the outside because that's professional but for your personal self you may not feel that's necessary. So what you do now is you get your elastic. I got this for making face masks, but I use 1 8 inch elastic. So you do not want your elastic to be the exact same length as this because it will not be, like there will be no elasticity to it. So you're gonna wanna measure your elastic by maybe putting it around your neck a little bit till it's comfortable. Remember this has stretch. You still want it to be, um, semi big you don't want it to be tight when you know you don't want it to pull tight so you can pre-cut it or i'm going to do it this way so i can get an idea of how much i really am going to need um you're going to want to get a safety pin this is going to make your life much easier take your safety pin stick it through the end of the elastic kind of in the center shut your safety pin take out these so you don't poke yourself Take your safety pin and put it in to the hole that you left. And you're going to feed your elastic through by pushing the safety. This is that mom trick. Everybody's mom taught them this when they were young. At least mine did. I don't know. And you're just going to push your... So grab with this hand and then you're going to push with this hand. Push. Bunch it up like this. And pull. And this is the same thing if your hoodie ever loses its tie and you're trying to put it back in and you can't get it back in, you do this. This is the way that you get elastic into things. The easiest way. Um, besides sewing it, which we don't want to do that. So we're just going to keep pushing this till we get all the way around. All right, we're at the other edge. Yay! Okay, so now we're at the end. Okay, so here's the thing. You want it probably a little bit bigger than this. So I would recommend that you keep pulling it through. Hold on to your safety pin. All right, let's stop there. All right, now I'm gonna cut this, my long piece. I think that that's plenty. What I want to do is, I'm not ready to finish up yet, so I'm just going to clip this in place so that I don't lose it. Um, I don't want it to go up inside of there while I am doing the other side, so I'm just going to do something to hold it in place that way, and we'll close it off when we're done. Now we're going to do the other side, so find your other opening, and you're going to do the exact same thing. Okay, so now you have your safety pin through this side. Okay, lay your I will just pull that. I'm gonna cut this. 
I'm just doing this for a second so I can make sure this is what I want. You, what you what you want to do is grab both of your pieces so you don't lose them. Stretch it out the way you want it to be. There's that. And that's kind of what you are going for. Now what you got to do is you need to go to your sewing machine. You can either tie these and sew it, however you want to do it. You got to you got to loop these together so they don't you don't lose it. I'm going to tie this in a little tiny knot. Now what you have to do is you have to close off your opening. So you're just going to want to make sure this is flipped out right side. Okay. Go over to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch the rest, stitch that part closed. And you're going to do the same thing on this side. You're going to stitch you're going to tuck this in so that no one can see it and you're going to just stitch that opening shut. All right, now you've stitched it closed. What you want to do is cut off your extra any threads that you have. So you can go around and trim the edges if you want or you can just let it be what it is. And if you do that, then you will have this. And you put this around your neck and you put your baby in it. Okay, you guys, so basically how this works is you're going to take your um, bonding scarf and you're just going to put it around your neck. And then you go and get your animal and you put them on the inside and they stay in this little pouch. I'm going to try it with a ferret, but I don't really think they'll be as receptive as like a guinea pig or um, a sugar glider or something like that. They're just <laughs> not. So, but I'm going to try it just to show you how it works. I don't have any of those other animals, so I have ferrets. So, but let's see. Okay, you guys. So Lucy was asleep and I did bring her in, but the camera was set too low. So I'm going to show you basically she just goes in here and she did stay in here, but she was asleep when I went and got her. And then she just hangs. But I would not do that. I would hold them. That's It would scare them, I think, if you would just let them hang. Now, if you had an animal that sat still, this is not the one. Um, ferrets aren't typically... Some may let you. But she definitely fits, and a guinea pig would fit. So, she wants to play, though. She's like, oh, the sewing room. You asleep? Oh, you asleep in here? You asleep in your pouch? Oh, the little baby? But she does let you, she wants to get out, so, okay. Oh, my little doodle. Oh, little doodle. Go back to sleep. You like, show everybody one more time. So you just put her in just like this. Okay, you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to click that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any um, ideas or tutorials that you wanna know or see, please let me know, leave that in the comments. I will do my best to do tutorials on anything that I do know how to make, or I will figure out how to make it and do a tutorial. This was actually um, requested, so I, this is super easy too, you guys. This took me like maybe 15 minutes, maybe less. So. Anyway, have a good week, you guys, and I'll see you next time.